the advancement of unmanned aerial systems continues to push the boundaries of military capabilities, and a recent milestone has brought the prospect of unmanned air combat closer than ever before. The trial marked the first ever firing of a Thales lightweight multi-role missile, also known as the Martlet, from a hovering Jackal drone developed by Flyby Technology, a Yorkshire-based company. In the groundbreaking exercise, the Royal Air Force successfully deployed a new and versatile drone system capable of executing a variety of combat missions across land, sea, and air. This achievement signifies a remarkable step forward in unmanned warfare, showcasing the potential for remote-controlled aerial combat and the integration of cutting-edge technologies. As depicted in a recent video, with the unstoppable combination of the drone system's adaptability and the missile's precision and firepower, the possibilities for unmanned air combat are now expanding at an unprecedented pace. The Battlefield Revolution In modern combat operations, a new player has emerged to fulfill multiple crucial roles on the battlefield. Drawing upon their extensive operational experience, Flyby Technologies CEO John Parker and his team have created a solution for nations facing budget constraints that prevent them from acquiring attack helicopters or modern fast jets capable of surviving the challenges of today's battlefield. Jackal, a remarkable vertical takeoff and landing, or VTOL, platform, was designed by a team of experts from UK-based Flyby Technology in collaboration with Turkish partners Fly BVOLS Technology and Maxwell Innovations. With its versatile capabilities, Jackal aims to revolutionize warfare by filling a significant gap in combat operations. Jackal offers these nations a cost-effective alternative, delivering the same impact with minimal risk at a fraction of the price. Furthermore, Jackal's vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, inspired by the ideas of Harrier pilots, provide a distinct advantage over traditional fighter jets. It eliminates the need for vulnerable runways, enabling operations from concealed locations such as forests and urban areas. The brainchild of warfighters themselves, Jekyll has been meticulously crafted to excel in battlefield air interdiction, close air support, engaging helicopters in flight, neutralizing tanks, and disrupting the use of runways and roads. One of its standout features is its plug-and-play system, allowing seamless integration of new equipment and technologies between missions and throughout its development. This innovative approach to procurement ensures that future iterations of the aircraft remain relevant and up-to-date, avoiding obsolescence. It also provides a pathway to future regulatory compliance and airworthiness standards, ensuring the safety and effectiveness of the platform. In the words of the CEO, quote, the days of having a fighter pilot in the cockpit are numbered. Joining Forces In a remarkable display of agile teamwork, the flyby team and technology giant Thales embarked on a trial sponsored by the Royal Air Force's Rapid Capabilities Office, or RCO. The objective was to test the firing of Thales' lightweight multi-role missile, or LMM, also known as Martlet, in the Royal Navy from the Jackal aircraft. Within a tight six-week time frame, they accomplished the feat of constructing two fully operational Jackal aircraft. The construction began when the flyby team reached out to Thales in Belfast, where the LMM is designed and manufactured. They sought to explore the possibility of conducting a firing trial from the Jackal. Following the recent events in Ukraine, flyby technology had been requested to brief the RAF on their new drone system. Seizing the opportunity, Thales eagerly agreed to partner with Flyby and become the first to test the LMM's aerial launch capabilities from a drone. Undertaking such a task was no small feat, even under optimal circumstances and with extensive planning that typically took several months. Adding to the complexity was the fact that Jackal was an unproven experimental aircraft. However, the Flyby team rose to the challenge magnificently. Six weeks after the initial call, they successfully fired two LMMs, demonstrating Jackal's ability to unleash devastating combat power by launching modern battlefield weapons while in flight. This achievement signaled the arrival of a formidable combat capability provided by the versatile Martlet. Carrying a Big Stick Conceived by defense firm Thales, 
the Martlet emerged as a remarkable solution to counter the relentless onslaught of unmanned attack boats plaguing the Royal Navy. However, the recent trial has unveiled its potential in the realm of drone warfare, showcasing its adaptability and versatility. Thales, a provider to the Navy and the Army, equips the latter with the LMM. This cutting-edge weapon system possesses the capability to be launched from shoulder-mounted launchers, as well as from formidable platforms like the Stormer and the Rapid Ranger, further expanding its operational possibilities. What sets the 76mm LMM apart is its remarkable dual-purpose nature. Functioning as both a surface-to-air and surface-to-surface -surface missile, it effortlessly assumes the roles of an anti-aircraft and anti-armor weapon. In essence, the LMM stands as a unique amalgamation of the Starstreak, Enlaw, and Javelin systems. While Thales acknowledges its effectiveness against tracked and armored vehicles, it must be noted that the LMM lacks the sheer power required to neutralize a fully-fledged battle tank. With a modest 3-kilogram warhead compared to the formidable 9-kilogram warhead of Hellfire missiles, the LMM finds itself somewhat limited in engaging modern battle tanks fortified with explosive reactive armor. Instead, its true prowess lies in engaging armored personnel carriers, or APCs, and other ground targets. Moreover, it fails to match the blistering speed of Starstreak, as its missiles travel at Mach 1.5. Philip McBride, managing director of Thales, explained, quote, One of the unique selling points of LMM is its ability to be integrated onto multiple platforms, including armored vehicles, helicopters, naval vessels, or indeed shoulder launchers, each designed to address different threats. But perhaps more importantly, the missile has fulfilled its initial role with Wildcat HMA helicopters, enabling it to undertake an air-to-surface role. When launched from the helicopters, the Martlet can effectively engage and eliminate small vessels. Whether as an anti-aircraft weapon, anti-armor solution, or air-to-surface munition, its multi-role capabilities position the Martlet as a formidable asset within the ever-evolving landscape of modern warfare. Expanding Horizons. In the words of the CEO, quote, Up until now, drones have been used in a very light tactical way, or as a big standoff surveillance platform and reconnaissance platform, sometimes with missiles on them, to do small interventions on roads in Afghanistan and things like that. And for the first time, we've been able to get an aircraft that can fly properly at a tactical level, at a price point that is achievable for a lot of forces and a lot of companies. Flyby Technologies' journey of development continues. The company has set its sights on a new goal, finding manufacturing partners in the UK who can help bring the Jackal to life on a larger scale. In addition to advancing the production of the Jackal, Flyby Technology has taken on the task of designing weapons tailored specifically for this drone. The objective is to equip the Jackal and its newly acquired role as an attack drone with cutting-edge armaments finely tuned to unleash their potential. Flyby Technology and Thales have joined forces, pooling their resources and expertise to combine the modified Jackal drone with the lethal capabilities of the LMM. As Parker put it, quote, If you want to win, you have to be a step ahead, and everybody else is racing ahead, and we need to be able to either catch up or overtake. Jackal is the first aircraft to be able to fire a competent missile that's got lethal and devastating effects from a hover in flight. Thank you for watching this video and joining us on this journey. Before you go, click that subscribe button and join our dedicated community of viewers. If you have a passion for modern military history, our Dark Documentaries channels offer a wide array of chilling documentaries and thought-provoking footage. Show us some love with the thumbs up button and activate the notifications bell to stay tuned.